Hi, in this video, I will show you how to overwrite on draw method and write our game logic and drawing mechanism in this method. So, let's get started. Open Android Studio and write after the constructor, write on draw. Draw the background image on canvas. Canvas dot draw bitmap for the bitmap provide bg for source provide null for rectangle provide our rect class and for paint provide null because we are not using any paint for now. Next draw the bullets for that use the for loop for int i equals to 0 i less than bullets remaining i plus plus canvas dot drop it map for bit map provide bullet for left value provide i into bullet dot get width for top provide 10 and for paint provide null as long as the value of i increments the bullets are drawn side by side now if bard is alive increment bard x and bard speed x times bard direction x so when bard direction x is positive the bard will fly or move from left to right and when bard direction x is negative it will move from right to left similarly increment bard y with bard speed y times bard direction y when bard direction y is positive the bard will move from top to bottom and when bard direction y is negative it will move from bottom to top so right if bard alive is true then check if reset state is true copy bard x and bard y in temp x and temp y and change reset state to false we will be needing this temp x and temp y to keep track of how much distance the bard has flown if reset state is true temp x equals to bard x temp y equals to bard y reset state equals to false increment bard x and bard y bard x equals to bard x plus bard speed x into bard direction x bard y equals to bard y plus bard speed y into bard direction y compute a random distance dist equals to 100 plus random dot next int and pass 600 now if distance flown by the bird in either x or y direction is greater than this random distance inverse bird direction and reset bird speed. If math dot abs for absolute value 
बाड x माइनस टेम्प एक्स ग्रेटर दैन और इक्वल्स टू टिस्ट और मैथ डॉट ए बी एस बाड वाई माइनस टेम्प वाई ग्रेटर दैन और इक्वल्स टू डिस्ट If bad direction x is positive, we will call math dot random, which returns a random floating point number between zero and one, and based on the value, we will inverse bad direction. So basically, we are not changing bad direction every time, but flies the random distance. If bad direction x greater than zero. If math dot random less than zero point five, but direction x equals to minus one. Else, if math dot random Less than zero point five. Part direction x equals to one. I will just copy this part and paste below, and I will change this to y. Also reset the bar speed. Reset bar speed. We will define this method later. Set the reset state to true so that we can keep track of next movement. Reset state equals to true. Click here, press Alt Enter, and select Create method. Reset bar speed in game view. Right. Bar speed x equals to ten plus random dot next int and pass twenty for bound. So this will return a value between zero to nineteen. And we are adding ten with that to generate bar speed x. Similarly, bar speed y equals to ten plus random dot next int twenty. If bar touches the right edge of the screen, we will inverse bar direction x and change the bar speed. If bar x greater than or equals to screen width minus bar zero dot get width bar direction x equals to minus one. And call reset bar speed. This should be minus. If bar touches the left edge of the screen, we will make the bar direction x positive and change the bar speed. If bar x less than or equals to zero, I will just copy these two lines. And paste here. This will be plus one. If bar touches the top edge of the screen, we will make bar direction y positive and change the bar speed. If 
but y less than or equals to 0 but direction y equals to 1 reset but speed and if but touches the bottom edge of the screen we will inverse but direction y and change the but speed if but y greater than or equals to screen height minus but 0 dot get height this should be minus just copy these two lines and paste here change this to minus 1 next increment but frame but frame plus plus if it reaches max number of BART frame, reinitialize it to 0 to avoid array index out of bound exception. If BART frame greater than 7, BART frame equals to 0. Now draw the BART bitmap canvas dot draw bitmap BART for index pass BART frame for left pass BART x for top pass BART y and for paint pass null. Finally, call post delete method on handler object which will wait for 30 milliseconds and then call run method of runnable. Inside run method we called invalidate method which will call on draw by android system and our view will be redrawn. Again post delete will be called from on draw. This is one way to create an infinite game loop in android. Handler dot post delete runnable comma update underscore millis. Now go to manifests and create an activity tag for game activity. We don't need the intent filter. Run the app to check the output. Perfect. Next, we will overwrite on touch event method and try to detect whether we have touched the bird or not. See you there.